menacing skies above Rasmus. Skittish rebels think they've heard a plane. An indiscriminate barrage of gunfire opens up. Um, what happened then? I don't know, but I probably saw a shadow of an airplane, an aircraft. So it was a false alarm? I don't know, I've got no idea. It was a false alarm. A tense kind of calm returns briefly. But just minutes later, the sound, this time for real, of a fighter jet above. There's panic as we all run for cover. Up the road, the explosion where the bomb came down. Seconds later, the rebels were celebrating rumors that the plane had been shot down. What the rebels have is their utter conviction that they're right and have to win this, whatever the odds. But here in Rasanuth, those odds are stacking against them because of Gaddafi's control of the air. Ahmed's come here without a weapon or training, but he's determined to fight Gaddafi's militia. But they, they fight for money. They're fighting for money? Yeah, they fight for money. What are you fighting for? We, want, we fight for our country. Racing through the deserts towards Rasanuth, the odd piece of aging heavy armor. More men and weapons are also heading west. If morale alone won battles, they'd be in Tripoli by now. But on its own, it won't be enough. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Rastanouf.